For the believers, Imam Sadiq explains to us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will instruct the soul to go to Wadi Salam, this blessed place surrounding the city of Najaf. All of the souls of the believers, they will gather in that valley. They have a social life there. Al Imam Al Sadiq says, it's as if I can see them in circles, having discussions. And when a newcomer comes, joins them, everyone rushes to greet that person and to ask about what's happening in this world, what's happening in this life. For example, one of the questions they will ask this new soul, this new comer, they will ask him, so and so person, is he still dead or alive? If he says he's alive, so they will try to wait for that person. If he tells them that he has died, but they don't find him there, they'll realize that that person was doomed. They realize that that person was taken to hell because he's not to be found there. So it's a beautiful atmosphere there in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathers the souls of all the believers and Allah creates a temporary paradise for the believers to enjoy themselves there till the day of judgment. And one hadith says, some of the believers there actually have the honor to be with the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, every once in a while. To dine with the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. To be blessed by the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. And as for the unbelievers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will instruct their souls to go to a valley in Yemen called Wadi Barahut. They'll be punished in that valley till the day of judgment. Yes, is there punishment in Barzakh? Absolutely. The Holy Quran, what does it say? In speaking about Fir'aun, the evil Pharaoh and his evil people. Every morning, every night, Allah will expose them to the fire. And then on the day of judgment, Then there's that permanent hell on the day of judgment. 